Chapter 177, An Approaching Crisis, 1, What happened after we became intimate felt somewhat natural, Seen and I began discussing marriage, for us, who had grown so close, there seemed to be no other path, it was so natural that even though we hadn't mentioned it, the villagers seemed to anticipate our wedding, whenever I passed by the villagers, they would tease me, Captain, when's the wedding? My son wants to sing a song for you, Captain, it suits you well, getting together with a childhood friend, it's so romantic. Our closeness, especially since that night, likely played a part in their assumptions, even outside, we didn't hesitate to kiss, sometimes, I heard disappointed sighs, they were from the villagers who had grown close to Na and Arwen, they congratulated us, but seemed unable to shake off memories of them, just like me, I couldn't shake the feeling that there was a wall standing in front of me, I hesitated with each step forward, though it was natural for us to part ways and walk our own paths. I kept thinking of them, that psychological barrier might be the only thing preventing my marriage with Seen, ha, huh? but whenever I thought that, I took a deep breath and tried to shake off the thoughts. I knew it was my duty to take the next step, having established a new family, it wasn't feasible for me to remain single forever, and in that sense, there might be no one better suited for me than seeing, I was still chasing after Adam Hyung's dream, though I wasn't sure if I was making progress, I had the duty to elevate the reputation of our race, who could be more fitting as my partner than the former saintess, of course, I was aware of the criticisms that followed when the saintess of purity stepped down but she was still a hero of our race? That fact hadn't changed, moreover, she was someone I had given my heart to, as we grew closer, reasons seemed to matter less and less, once we crossed that line, there was no hesitation, we mixed our bodies every night, and every night, we craved each other, it was certainly improper to be so intimate before marriage, but I could no longer resist my feelings for her, the pleasure of exchanging love was hard to resist, during our intimate moments, Seen mostly smiled, often looked at me with lustful eyes, and sometimes even shed tears off joy, as the days passed, she continued to support me, although the war had ended, I was getting busier, internally, there were many documents to handle, resource management needed attention, with many of our race migrating to stock pin, security was a concern, there was endless land to cultivate, new homes and buildings were being constructed daily, externally, I needed to solidify relationships with nearby nobles, we had to prepare for the farming season starting in spring, we needed to capture the bandits and outlaws that had begun appearing, there were also rumors of a plague spreading somewhere, which required my attention, I often heard scattered reports of sightings of Krund, the one who killed Adam Hyung, and through all these processes, seen. Was by my side, when I was reclaiming land with my comrades, she brought us meals, after I finished paperwork, she massaged misholders, when I went out to hunt bandits lurking in the territory, she cheered me on, and when I was lost in complex thoughts, she stayed quietly by my side, as those days continued, I was finally able to make a decision. Scene, yes? When should we hold the ceremony? Scene stared blankly for a long time before answering with a quiver in her voice, the sooner, the better, after that, Scene and I had a simple wedding ceremony, when we were innocent children, we had joked about having a grand, magnificent wedding, but now that it was possible, we realized that wasn't what mattered. Ultimately, what was most important was that our feelings for each other were enough, we didn't particularly invite anyone to our wedding, even though we were war heroes and famous in the kingdom, we didn't send out invitations, nobles, kings, getting involved with them only brought discomfort, I still felt like I was wearing an uncomfortable suit, I wasn't used to being a noble, nevertheless, it was a title I had to bear to carry on my Hyung's will, since I wanted to avoid troublesome matters we just planned to inform the kingdom of our marriage? Seen and I never needed anyone else's congratulations, it was enough for us to pledge to each other in the heart of Stock Pin, the only other race present at our wedding was Gale, he smiled and, like everyone else, applauded us, in the midst of endless applause and cheers, Seen and I held hands and gazed into each other's eyes, I couldn't hear Baron's voice as he conducted the ceremony, Seen, looking up at me, was constantly shedding tears, her happiness was conveyed to me as well, everyone. Watching her could feel her joy, some emotional women even shed tears along with her, stop crying, seen, I smiled and said this to calm her, but my words only made her cry more, Captain, it's time for your vow, before I realized it, my turn had come. I wiped seen's tears with my thumb and opened my mouth, it was time to make my vow, but at that moment, 
I hesitated, overwhelmed by a familiar feeling, this moment, had already occurred twice for me, I couldn't help but recall those memories, the words I had said to Na, the words I had said to Arwen, how would they react to this situation, Na and Arwen would soon hear about this wedding, would they be sad, would they be angry? Would they let me go, or would they feel nothing at all, Belle? I thought of them at the most inappropriate time, Scene's voice brought me back to reality, before I could make any vow, Scene whispered to me, Belle, are you really okay with this? I'm no longer a saintess, I have no miracles, no powers, I'm not a noble, I have no connections to offer help, I've heard people criticize me for giving up my sainthood. Is someone like me, really okay for you? You're a noble, you have a territory, you're so amazing, her words cleared away my scattered thoughts, she shouldn't belittle herself like this, I conveyed only the most genuine words within me, words that came from the heart, unbound by any pretense, I will make you happy, I didn't even pay attention to her pessimistic words, I had made my decision, even if it costs me my life, there was no need for long speeches, all my resolve was encapsulated in those few words. Scene's sobbing grew more intense. People found her continuous crying endearing and even burst into laughter, stop crying. It's a happy day. How cute. Scene couldn't give a lengthy vow due to her tears, me too, she simply, but sincerely, promised our future together, me too, Belle, early winter, at the age of 24, I finally became Scene's husband, our marriage news spread quickly throughout the kingdom as expected. The letters proposing arranged marriages ceased, and congratulations poured in from various families, from those I had met a few times to families I didn't know. I received no contact from Blackwood or Celebrian, I wasn't sure if I should be relieved or feel otherwise, I knew it wasn't just the nobles focused on our marriage, ordinary people also had a keen interest in our story, Lord Riker. While continuing my honeymoon and having meals with my comrades, a bard visiting Stockpin spoke to me, I would like to create a song about Lord Riker and Lady Riker's story, if that's all right? A song? Isn't it an incredible story, two people who had nothing met as children, overcame endless trials? And reunited, please, grant me permission. My comrades were enthusiastic about the bard's proposal, they all gathered around me, urging me to grant permission, Captain, this bard is famous, a great song will definitely come out of this, people will sing it endlessly, opportunities like this don't come easily. And personally, I think the story with Lady Riker is quite beautiful, wouldn't it be nice to show that our race doesn't just sleep with anyone like monkeys? I pondered for a moment. I would be happy if our story helped change the perception of our race, but could it really have that much impact? I felt a vague sense of rejection, perhaps it was thoughts of my ex-wives that caused it, is it not okay? But Scene asked me, she seemed to really like the idea, seeing this feminine side of scene made everything else irrelevant to me, I smiled and spoke to the bard, do as you wish, now, I prioritized scene above all else, we continued our happy honeymoon. It might have been the most human-like life I had ever led, even as time passed, we never tired of each other's touch, every day, it felt like we couldn't get enough, scene sometimes felt belated jealousy, she was distressed seeing this bite marks on my neck and the scar on my cheek from fighting for Arwen, she never tried to show it, but it was always easy to tell, I wish they would disappear, sometimes she muttered to herself while touching those marks, smooch, smooch. And sometimes she pressed her lips to those scars, with her lips pressed against those scars, scene sucked on them, trying to leave her own marks, I found this behavior endearing, yet it made me think about the remnants of my ex-wives that remained on my body no matter what scene did, the marks left by my ex-wives were something she couldn't erase, time passed in a whirlwind, winter, spring, summer, fall, winter again, and then spring once more, a year had passed since I married scene, our red. Flames group had put down their swords and picked up farming tools, moving forward with a lot of creaking, I couldn't say everything was perfect, the first year's harvest was far from successful, we lacked enough land to cultivate crops and had too little information about farming we needed more experience. On top of that, new problems arose daily, managing a growing territory was not as easy as it sounded, I was just a mercenary, using my head wasn't always my strong suit, I hoped that, eventually, I would get used to it, the one positive aspect was that everyone was working together, a new life was being given to me, to scene, and to stock pin, ha, huh? I looked down at my territory, lost in thought, 
It had been a year and a half since I parted ways with my ex-wives, during that time. I hadn't heard any news about them, although I maintained an appropriate distance from Celebrian and Blackwood, I received no word about my ex-wives. I realized that we were truly drifting apart now, out of habit, I was rubbing my ring finger again, even with the new ring from Seam, I couldn't shake the habit, I was beginning to accept that I might carry this question for the rest of my life, how are they living? It was a question that would never be answered, cheap. Cheap, as I was lost in thought, a bluebird landed on my shoulder, a year and a half had also passed since I became close with Lua, I smiled as I petted Lua, looking at the brightening weather, I whispered to Lua, I hope everything goes well this year, Lua, chirp. Chirp, as I was enjoying a brief moment of rest, Seen's voice called out from behind. Bell, Gail is waiting for you, at her voice. Lua flew away into the distance, I turned to Seen and smiled, I walked over to her and gave her a light kiss, Seen smiled at the kiss and then said to me, let's save the rest of the affection for later and head back, today too, cough. Cough. At the same time, Seen started coughing harshly, Seen? Are you okay? She wiped her lips and answered, yes, I'm fine, shouldn't you take some medicine? She shook her head slightly and replied, you know my body has always been weak, it's just. It's just that giving up his blessing has returned me to my old self, was this one of the things she had to endure to be with me, I couldn't help but feel uneasy about the deep emotions I had for her, but Seen seemed to notice my unease and playfully linked her arm with mine, I love you, Belle, expressing her feelings in words was a bonus, I smiled at her affectionate gesture and lightly patted her head, then, as she had initially said, I headed off to find Gail, who was waiting for me. I began preparing to handle the day's schedule. 